Hey guys, so I'm making this video because I couldn't find any videos out there about how to use themes in version 4 of Tailwind. So let's get started by creating our Vite React project. So I'm going to do npm create uh, Vite at latest. And we'll just give this project a name here. I'm just going to type uh, theme template. And I'm going to click on React here, uh, JavaScript. You can just choose whatever framework or variant you want. Anyways, let's head into that folder. And we'll do an npm install quickly. Okay, so once that's installed, we want to do npm install tailwind css and then at tailwind css uh, slash byte so this will install tailwind into our project and then you want to do code and dot to open up the project in visual studio code or whatever editor you're using and you want to open up this byte config file here and in here you want to add a new import for Vite here I mean for uh, Tailwind CSS and then in this plugins thing here you want to go inside of this list and add a new thing here and that's where you want to add your Tailwind CSS and use it like a function so now we have Tailwind installed onto our project uh, let's just test if it's working here so in the source folder I'm going to go into this index thing here and remove everything and we say at import here and then instead of a URL we just say Tailwind CSS and I'm going to save that in our app.jsx we want to basically remove all of this because we won't be using it let's start off with a blank fragment here and I'm just going to do an h1 and I'll give it a class of uh, let's do text dash blue 200 or let's do five 400 so we can see it and I'll just put some random text here so let me run this with npm run dev and yeah we can see the color changed here so that means that our tailwind css is installed correctly now to create a button that changes the color theme uh, first we need to create a theme okay so to apply our custom theme here we want to make sure there's a semicolon here and then we want to do add custom variant and we'll give this a name like dark because we're going to create a dark theme and then you want to open up your brackets here like you're creating a function and you want to do and colon and then where and then use this like a function as well and in here you want to specify where you want these styles to apply so I'm going to apply to anything with the dark class and all children of things with the dark class so let's add in our semicolon here as well and there should be no errors in your CSS file now in our app.jsx file I'm going to get rid of this and just put a div here so that we can make it bigger and see the color a bit better so let's do class name and I'm going to give it an each of uh, screen and I'm going to say BG uh, let's do gray okay so gray 300 let's save that and now we have a gray page here so inside of here I'm going to create a button that we'll use as the toggle so button uh, I'm just going to say toggle theme And up here, let's create a function to add and remove the class from class name. 
So firstly, what we want to add is we want to add dark here. And in our things that we want to style, we want to use dark and then a colon like this and then the theme we want to apply when we're in dark mode. So I'm going to do BG dash black here. So normally it should be gray and then when dark mode is applied we want to have it turn black. And to activate dark mode we want to add dark into the class names. So to do this I'm going to go up here where we can create a function and I'm going to create a function called toggle dark and I'll just set it equal to an anonymous function here and inside of here what we want to do is documents dot get element by ID and I'm just going to give an ID here to this dev so ID is equal to root element And that's the ID we're going to grab here. And then we're going to say dot uh, class list dot toggle. And then we're going to type dark here. So this is going to toggle the dark uh, class name inside of this class list here. And I'm going to save that. And it looks like we have an error here. I was just saying we defined the dark toggle function but we haven't used it so inside of the button I'm just going to say on click here and then toggle dark and now if we head back to our page there should be a button here uh, if we click on it it will toggle and untoggle the dark mode you can obviously give your button some better styling and stuff but this is how you would uh, do dark mode so yeah guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.